Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video I will show you one of the important issue or common issue I would say is the multicollinear tree in which is a part of linear regression. So what happens is when you have a multiple regression model if you have, and if you have seen my previous video we had this multiple regression model fit where we were taking all of the x variables the independent variables to predict the y and uh, the basic idea is that uh, whether there is any multicollinear tree which is present into the data so what it is is basically uh, whenever in your model if uh, two or more than two independent variables are seriously correlated or highly correlated then they try to influence the entire model and lead to wrong prediction so they basically uh, change the uh, intercept or the slope values not the intercept but the slope values uh, based on their order in which how their order is or uh, w which one has been placed first or second and uh, try to influence the slope based on their location so if you want to learn more I have uh, some very good recommendation because that's where from that's where I have learned it. So this is the link online resources.science.psu.edu stat501 and node slash 346. So it's basically first explaining what happens when you have highly correlated predictors. And there is a very very good uh, example with the help of multiple conditions. If I cover this, this will become a one hour long video. So I'm le leaving the theory behind to you to learn through it. As well as what happens after this, what happens when you detect this and uh, detect. Now we need to detect the issue of multicollinearity with the help of variance inflammation factor. That means because of some variables in the model, overall variance is inflating and high variance is not good for your linear model so how we can uh, you know identify that as i mentioned with the help of variance inflammatory factor vif this is the math behind it but what we are really interested in knowing is uh, vif formula which is one by one minus r square and r square is nothing but your uh, but your variable the score variable which i showed you how you will identify using the score function so if i go back and uh, show you that from once we have fitted over here and we are getting this multi linrag dot score dot x comma y you know this is the r square value and what r square basically explained is uh, based on the variables that you have taken how much uh, explain how much variation it can explain and the better the r square good the variables are that you have considered so how we can uh, calculate the variance inflammation factor with the help of this is r square as per the formula it is 1 divided by 1 minus r underscore square it's q u a r e if I press it comes as 0.25 but uh, looking at this and based on the knowledge that I have got this is not right so what I need to do is basically surround it by uh, these parentheses if I execute it yeah now it is better 3.85 this is what I was expecting because the general rule of thumb is to identify whether it is sig variance inflammatory factor significantly high or not is based on the threshold value 4 if the value this particular value is going beyond 4 that means there is some investigation required based on the variables that you have taken so what you do is you keep seeing the correlation between two variables and try to see the behavior like it has explained here uh, with the help of these different examples that it has these BP weight, age, weight, BSA, pulse, and all of these variables. And what it does, what these variables uh, basically uh, are doing whenever there is an issue of multicollinearity or high correlationness. So, coming back to variance inflammatory factor, if the threshold value, which is 4, value is going beyond that, investigation is required, even if 
10 if the value is going even beyond 10 that means there is a very serious issue of multicollinearity and you should not trust that model at all and if the value is near to 1 that means uh, there is no correlation at all so both the conditions are not true since my value is coming near to 3.85 i think there is no investigation is required and i can just move ahead and uh, and uh, you know use this model so as I mentioned, investigation means that you try to see what uh, is causing this high correlation. Try to remove those variables because uh, they will tend to impact the randomness of the model and uh, try to influence the result. Uh, so that's pretty much about it. But I highly recommend, as I mentioned at the start of the video, just go through these uh, two topics, which is uh, First is highly correlated predictor and then detecting multicollinearity using variance infinite factor.